Hi Aries, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. Of course, this is a general reading, so that means it might resonate for some of you and not for others of you. But you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed and because it is general, sometimes the, um, these, the energies can overlap as well. All right, so let's see, what is the major themes for Aries first half of April? Ooh. And also happy birthday to those of you that had birthdays or have birthdays coming up. All right, so, ooh, okay, we have conclusion, balancing the scales, and third party. Interesting. Okay, so this is a pretty clear message. It looks like there is a conclusion in situations where there is a third party. It does not necessarily have to be a romantic partner. It can be a situation such as work, addictions, whatever. Um, so something is coming into balance here. I feel like the energy is pushing towards a conclusion of whatever the third party situation is. All right, um... Yeah, I'm not going to say anything more until we get into the details here. Let's see. It could, we'll see what comes through because it could even be somebody walking away from a third party situation. Um, or it could be somebody putting an end to the third party. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of April. All right, so for the situation, we have the Eight of Swords crossed by the Lovers. Oh, okay. So right off the bat, I mean, the Lovers can oftentimes actually be um, having to make a decision between two lovers, all right? That's not always the case, but it could be for some of you that that's what this third party is about. Um, and that somebody is having a hard time either making that decision or moving in the direction of love because they're feeling trapped in another situation, all right? And it could be that there is some fear here when it comes to somebody being in a particular um, situation and because of that they're blocking themselves from love or that's what's been been happening let's see in the recent past we have the queen of cups near future we have death all right yeah so there's definitely an ending that is presenting itself here um coming up in the recent past i see that there were there's been a lot of love here okay so there is a connection here that does hold a lot of emotions. All right, for your energy, we have the Palace of Cups. For them, we have the Four of Cups. More about you is the King of Swords. For them, the world and potential outcome here, we have the Hermit. Okay, so in your energy with the Palace of Cups and the, and the King of Swords, see, there's a lot of love here. You feel like like this is there's a connection here that you are strongly bonded to and that just makes you feel good or that has that potential to make you feel really good um however it feels like at the same time i mean as this king of swords you're either you might be keeping a little bit of a distance at the moment um from that connection so we'll see and it, it could even be that you're you know just really trying to put your foot down and possibly make make a decision here okay so I, again, I don't know who it is that is in this situation of that has the third party, but yeah, I see you making a decision or being in decisive mode regardless of who that is. Um, for your person with the Four of Cups and the world, there's a conclusion here. There's an ending of a cycle for sure, um, possibly of a situation that is unhappy or somebody feels less than satisfied and discontent and yeah um, it's interesting because we also have the hermit in the potential outcome which is not a forever um, outcome it's just for now um, I do see a lot of deeper thinking a lot of going within and possibly still having a little bit of a distance 
from this person. So let's clarify and see. Alright, so let me clarify the Eight of Swords with the Lovers. Alright, we have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Alright, yeah, so there's been, or there still is a lot of doubt, there's a lot of indecision here, there's a lot of, um, a lack of action, I feel, and I feel like there's this fear, possibly of either of rejection or of a loss. Somebody feeling like a little bit of the victim, and because they're feeling like this victim, they're kind of just staying, um... Staying a little bit stagnant, staying a little bit in their own, kind of like staying where they are. I'm staying where I am because I'm a victim and because I feel like there's no way out. There's no um, winning solution to the situation and so I just stay where I am rather than rather than taking action. It could even be a fear of action because if there's a fear of what might be lost or what this person might need to face if they were to take action, okay? So that again, that could be you, it could be them. And this does involve in some way um, love and a connection. The love is there, as I said, and it was there also in the past, but there's there's this fear there's this fear which is causing this person to just kind of stay stagnant. Um, but let's see, because it feels like things are shifting. Things are shifting with these conclusions. And again, it could just be that you are moving away from this, if this is your person. But I also do see that your person is ending a cycle here. So. If you're cross-watching and you are the other person, it could be that you are just walking away from a situation that um, involves a third party. Let's see. Let's see the Queen of Cups in the recent past. All right, the Six of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Let me just move them over a little bit. Okay. So yeah, so here's the thing. I feel like in the past, like like I said, there's been a lot of, um, there was a lot of emotions here with this person. There was a very strong bond. There was a lot of um, feelings and love and possibly even a lot of expression of love with this person. However, the, it, it, I feel like there was also a time of confusion and that there has been a lot of grief mixed in with that love. So I don't feel like it was a connection where um, things were just, you know, smooth sailing. Yeah, the emotions were there, but I feel like it was for a time, at least in the recent past, like that that was it. That's all that there, there was, was just the emotions and everything else may have seemed out of balance. Um, I do feel like the emotions were were so strong that that is what kept this going, even though everything else seemed to be pretty challenging, pretty challenging. And I feel like um, it was something that was either confusing you or your person a lot to the point of having to endure a lot of grief um, with the situation. And it could even be re related to other things from the past for some of you. So let me see this Palace of Cups for your energy. All right, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Wow, okay, so you have both the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords in your energy. Yeah, so you, I feel like, you know, I kind of feel like you're still, you might still be processing this Five of Cups energy where you might still be feeling um, some sadness or some grief about this situation, but at the same time, I feel like you are at this place where you can really balance yourself out when it comes to, yeah, you know, I might feel love for this person, and I might have these emotions, but at the same time, you know what? I demand my respect. I, I want to stand true to myself, and I feel like you are feeling strong and powerful at the moment in your own element here, being able to kind of balance out both. Like, yeah, I can have emotions 
for this situation, whatever it is, and at the same time, still be able to keep um, a healthy distance for my own good, if that makes sense. So let me see the King of Swords. The Page of Cups, the Moon, and the Page of Wands. Again, yeah, it's like there's, you have a lot of emotions for this person and I feel like you might be hiding them. Um, there is something that you would, I, f I almost feel like you would um, look forward to there being possibly um, a resolution here. But at the same time, like you're, I, I feel like you're still open to this. Not only open to this, I feel like you. this is something that you really would want and you do hold a lot of emotions for however you hide them. Um, sometimes you might even hide them from your own self. And so you might appear to be a little bit more detached or a little bit more um, cold than how you truly, than how you truly feel. Um, so I feel like, you know, the message here is just, you know, just be cautious of hiding your emotions from your own self because that's not going to help you to process them. I mean, I do, for the most part, feel like you're doing a pretty good job. I do see you being balanced for the most part, but there might be just a little bit of you either suppressing your emotions or just having, just doubting yourself as to whether you are making the right decisions. And I feel like from what I see here that you are making the right decisions, whatever those are. I feel like you're using both your intuition as well as your as your mind, as your logic here. And as I say, that the, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, I definitely feel that you, you feel the emotions for this person and, and this person feels these emotions for you as well. Um, let's see the Four of Cups for them. All right, the Magician, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Hmm. So this person here is feeling very, um, they're not feeling very happy. They're feeling like there's something missing or that there's something just unsatisfactory. I'm even getting it as almost getting bored or just feeling unfulfilled. Um, to an extent where they actually do want to do something about it, all right? They want to manifest. They want to manifest something different here. They want to have some kind of a new beginning or at least manifest some kind of action that is going to be based on truth. I feel like sometimes this... Um, this desire that they have to change this unhappiness, this um, settling kind of situation that they're in, it can sometimes create a little bit of immaturity the way they go about trying to um, trying to, to shift it. I almost feel like sometimes they're just driven very much by, by like a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, and then that can actually throw them off. And it can be um, almost like... I mean, even though I feel like they were stalling here, because I do feel like it might be your person. If it was your person, I do feel like they were stalling. But then it's like when they want to take action, it might it might be a little bit um, done in a way that is immature. And, and that's why it hasn't brought results. Let's see the world, because I do see a conclusion here, something being resolved. Yeah, the sun and the high priestess. Yeah, okay, so whatever it is that this person, and again, worlds can be reversed, so maybe this is you. Um, this person is in the process of closing out a cycle, possibly even learning some lessons along the way. I do see them um, tapping into their intuition here with the high priestess. They might not be very transparent about what it is that is going on, but whatever it is, with the sun being here, this is them actually really following their um, higher truth. Being in tune with their own self. So whatever it is that's, that they're closing out, 
it is going to be in alignment. So if, if you feel like the roles are reversed and this is you that is watching, um, that I'm talking about here, go with that, okay? Bring about that conclusion, whatever it is, even if it's um, with this person that you feel these emotions for. Because if that's what your intuition is telling you, our intuition is usually correct, all right? So let's see, let's see what is coming up. Let's see death for the near future. The Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Yeah. This, I feel like this ending is coming, you know, regardless. Um, kind of like whether you want it to or not. Um, and again, I feel like it has to do, it's going to close out this cycle of there being a third party. All right, regardless of what that is, even if it's just, um, let's say, your person's work that is serving as a barrier between the two of you. There is an ending coming. I don't know. I'm, I'm still not sure if this is you closing it out because I do see you trying to really stand your ground. Um, and at the same time, I also see your person closing out a cycle here as well. So it could be even both. It could be that you are um, walking away from a third party situation and then your person at the same time is, is closing that out. I do see some pain attached to this. So, you know, if you, you, you might feel this pain, in, but you know, that's, that's natural. You know, whenever there is a transformation, whenever there is a change, a shift, an ending, you know, there's always going to be a sense of grief that comes along with that. That doesn't mean that it's not the right decision though. And again, you know, if, if you feel like th these messages are not for you, of course, disregard them. Always follow your own intuition. Let me see the harness for the potential outcome. We have death and we have the two of cups. I feel like, you know, this death, this ending, that is what is ultimately going to lead to happiness. That is what is going to lead to a union that will be in alignment and where there will be only two rather than rather than three, all right? Two energies instead of three. So this hermit, this, um, this energy of being withdrawn, of going within, of really focusing on your own self. Together with that ending is what is going to bring this two of cups into your life, whether it is with this person and I feel that for the mo for the most part it is, um, but for for a few of you it might be something else, and that's okay. Whatever that something else is going to be, it's going to be um, very beautiful. All right, Aries. So if this was resonating, let's get your final message. All right, and we have wise leader. You are a beacon for others. Yeah, so the message that I get with this is pretty much that, you know what you do? <laughs> if you're standing your ground, you know, other people will follow and do the same, um, including possibly this person that you are dealing with. All right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.